Hi guys, got some more from Zul. It's Kaiser here from Cape Town. Um, the build which I want to do today is the Tricore Alien build. And for that build, we are going to use 28 gauge wire, my favorite type or gauge wire, 28 gauge of the lower gauges. And then we're also going to use a 34 gauge. Before we start, I would just like to thank all my, all the people that have subscribed to my channel. I never thought that I would have this much subscribers after a year, a year of video making. I mean, ek is a burki van South Africa. I'm a biology teacher and who would have thought that I would have anyone subscribe to my channel. But yeah, my target for the end of the first year would have been 365, but I've managed to get more than 820 subscribers after a year of posting videos. So yeah, thanks to those guys. And I haven't asked once for a subscriber. So you guys have decided to subscribe on your own merit. So thank you very much. I appreciate that. All right. So the first thing which we're going to do is we're going to cut three 30 centimeter pieces of 28 gauge and then we're going to straighten those pieces okay so we got our three pieces over here straightened nice and ready so the first step which we're going to do is we're going to take one of these three pieces and we're actually going to clapton it so that we can use that clapton wire to alien the three core wires at a later stage right so to clapton this i'm just going to put it through my coil jig so that it runs through the straw and then the back end I'm just going to tie it to one of my swivels or to my outer swivel okay and then the front portion I'm just going to wrap my 34 gauge around before I actually secure it inside my chuck of my drill and there it goes Just going to tighten this a bit, get myself a smooth surface to work on. Just make sure the tension is correct on this little guy. And as I said, this is just to clap in with. Very important, just look at the direction in which you are going to turn at the moment. So mine is always on one. Um, easy for me to remember this. That's the first thing which I want to do. So that's why I press it, put it on number one. Okay, and then. Apply some tension over here, just pull this drill part towards you and you can start. Just give it a little hinge so you can start off. Right, I think this part is long enough though. Um, so we can just quickly cut it, cut it off over here. Here we go. Let's cut it off. Okay. Now before you actually remove this, just twist your fingers around here and there. Okay. It just loosens the clapped in the wire. It just loosens it a bit. Sweet potato. Right. There you go. Then you can cut off the one side. And cut off the other side. There we go. So they remove it. Okay, so all you do now is you can just slide. Just slide your claptoning wire out. You shouldn't have any problems. Just like so. Okay, so there's my 28 gauge. And you can see here's the springy 34 gauge, which I've actually slid out now. Sweet. And if you've done this, you're good to go so far. Let's quickly take a quick toot on the R150 again. Be neglecting this little guy. It's such an awesome, awesome mod. Yo, beautiful. Beautiful. All right, next step is to stretch this little spring, which you have just taken off. The 28 gauge 
Okay, now I normally use a plier to get grip on the one side and then try and get my fingernails as close as possible to the other side and then stretch it. But you 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 got to have it secure in your hands. I mean, if it's going to jump out on either one of the two sides, then you're going to have a problem. Okay, so try and secure it as best you can before the time. And then you can start stretching. Just release it a bit there. And stretch it again. And just release it a bit. And stretch it again. And just release it a bit. All right. I'm just going to stretch it slightly more. Okay, now what I normally found is if you're going to wrap a, a tricore, um, the best is to, to stretch it three times the length it was originally. All right, so if it was a 20 centimeter piece, stretch it till around 60 centimeters. But you don't want to overstretch it, rather understretch it, because when you start aliening it, you can always apply a bit more pressure on this wire to, to stretch it out a bit more so it can get um, around your cores. All right, but do not overstretch, as I said. So that's the rule of thumb. Now that is normally to where I stretch it, so that it actually looks looks like that. Okay, I'm just going to overstretch this point, so that you can see what you're not supposed to do. Okay. Now that is overstretched. Cool. Good. Overstretched. All right, so now we're going to take our 328 gauge wires, which we have straightened beforehand, and just put them together. And then we're going to use this little guide, which has been included in the Diedless Pro 2 kit. And this is the 20, um, 28 gauge. Okay, and just carefully place these little three wires through your slit, which is on your guide. Just like so. Okay, then we're going to place these two wires. You're going to run it through and slide our little guide into our hole in front over there. Sweet. And then you'll see all three wires coming out at the back end. This guy you can remove now. We do not need this guy anymore. All right, so all three 28 gauges next to one another through the guide running through the straw at the bottom end and exiting at the back of our jig. Cool. All right, the only thing which I'm going to do now, um, just to make sure that these guys lie next to one another, is I'm going to take just a bit of glue. And this is very cheap. You can get it at supermarkets um, who sell a bit of hardware equipment, hardware retailers, etc. But they're very cheap. And it's very handy. So just get yourself a nice piece, piece like this. And it's very convenient to, to help keep wires together. I think that looks good. All of them nicely together. All right, so the back portion I'm going to secure inside my swivel. Okay, I'm just going to try and keep these wires together and then just run them through the swivel. All right, that should do the trick. Sweet potato. So this would be a good time to actually just go and sw switch your direction now. Mine wasn't one, but remember, if you're going to put on the alien, you must reverse the direction. So just place that on two. Okay. So the next step which we're going to do is we are going to put some of the, the wire around over there, which we're going to alien with. <clears throat> so I just started a portion just to make sure that... Uh, these three wires are kept together and then I'm going to start aliening it. All right, <clears throat> seat the back portion. But I think we've got a nice piece here, just to show you guys. It actually, once you get used to it, it actually goes very quickly. And you can make a lot of alien coils. But I don't make alien coils that much, because I actually prefer my frame staples above the alien coils. 
So remember to reverse the direction if you straighten. Okay, there you go, guys. All right, let's quickly turn a coil. There you go, guys. That's a decent alien coil. And you see how quickly I did it. Easy capizzi. Just takes a bit of patience. Just a few things to remember when you're doing this alien build, which is very important. Um, your direction. Okay, often you forget the direction. And the last thing which you want to do when you're trying to make complex builds is become um, impatient and then forgetful. The direction in which you're going to clap in with is the opposite to the direction in which you're going to alien with later on. Okay, so have a look at that. If it's on one, later on you're going to put it on two. If it's on two, later on you're going to put it on one. Okay, so that's the one thing. The second thing is... Make sure that the tension between your drill part and your jig is good. Okay, You always want tension on that wire. And that helps to keep those three strands of core wires. It helps to keep them together. Okay, That is very important. Now, I have used this guy in this specific um, video. What I also tried, but I've tried it twice, but I've failed, is I tried putting around my alien wire putting around here tracing it on there running it through there and then aliening it via this specific way but i couldn't manage it i think that slit down there is too fine it's too thin and that um, puts extra tension on this little guy so yeah pulling those three core wires apart from one another i don't know maybe you can get it right and post a video on that i just couldn't manage that so yeah um i just use this specific jig as well because I was using this guide and that guide fits in there extremely well you don't have to use this the important part is this guide but I like to use this because this guy puts a bit of weight on there as well on the table and because it's still light it keeps this guy in place and it manages it more easily to pull pull push down that wire whereby if I just use this guide on its own on those three wires um, I think this guy's gonna slide to the back it's going to slide too quick. So yeah, guys, that is that. There was a question about the staggered fused claptons. Um, if I could do a staggered one using thinner wire, um, I'll try that. I haven't tried try that. It's because I don't use those builds. Um, I'm a frame staple guy. I love my frame staples. Even though the Alien looks good, it doesn't give me the surface area. It doesn't give me the properties which I enjoy in a vaping as much as what a frame staple does. I just love a frame staple. But this is probably the third time I've tried building aliens. And, I mean, I think I did extremely well. And it's just all about practice and getting your tension correct, etc., etc. But, yeah, good luck to you. But you can use your Daedalus Pro to make alien coils. Cool. Cheers. Enjoy the rest of your day. Kaiser, over and out.